Hello guys. Yesterday I was talking to a friend of mine, some friends of mine, uh, about the Alpha 156, and particularly with the info center system. Um, this information is, is always on the maintenance book, but um, I will show you what, what was I talking about. So here we have the info center for the for the uh, Series 2 Alpha 156. This also works on the Alpha GT, Alpha 147, and it goes like this. Um, down, down here you have the, the buttons for the info center. You press info and the, the menu appears. Then you press plus or minus to go to your service. Okay, service, go. And then you press plus and the, the, pressure, the tire pressure appears. You wait, it, 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 it appears. Okay, you press again, tire pressure, okay, wait, press again, oil, this is in uh, Italian, okay, press again, uh, brake fluid, top, top, top 4 or dot 4, press again, coolant, check your manual, plus, Additional information, I think. And pl press plus again, and it's done. Another thing that I um, this is all on the book, but um, some of you may not know or may not have the book. So let me exit, exit. Okay, menu off. So if you have your uh, engine running with your lights off, if, and if you press only plus or minus, you will regulate your info center lighting. The amount, amount of light that it, it has. Okay, I like to have it always on minimum. And then you wait for it to, to the message to go away. Then you turn on your lights. And now you can regulate separately your info center it can distinguish between day and night uh, lighting so you can always regulate I have both on minimum because it is more comfortable to drive so I hope you like this small information guys here in the service um, I have one last thing to, to say if you want to reset your your service you enter okay you are your, on your on your menu you select service, you enter your service, and you have here, imagine you have another number. Uh, the way to, to reset it is just to press and keep pressing plus and minus. And I'm pressing. In a few seconds, you will see the, the LCD flashes, flashes for half a second. So... Now it's not doing it because it's already uh, the service. It's it's already done. I did it for the for the previous video. So the the do, um, the number will change to twenty thousand kilometers, and also the time. From now on, you have one year to do your service. From from one year uh, from now to, to to the next year on this day, the the car will remember you. To do the service even if you, if you don't do the 20,000 kilometers if uh, you cannot do the service if it fails the problem is here on the ref counter it is the ref counter that do that does the the counting for the kilometers in the year okay you have here downstairs the the buttons you have here the info center but it is the ref counter that communicates with the phone center and so on and does this math. Another thing that I want to mention is not about the Alpha 156, is for the, the, the cars that have the body computer. The Alpha 156 don't does not have body computer. Uh, the Alpha 147, GT, 159, Mito, Julieta uh, and so on um, that have they, that do have body computer uh, sometimes you see the kilometer, the kilometers or the miles flashing. 
when th that happens, it's a message that the, the body computer is telling you. What you have to do is diagnose your body computer. And uh, first of all, what, it, what is uh, a body computer? It's the main computer for your car. This is the master computer that is situated uh, under there and communicates with all the other units. Uh, the window regulators usually is usually a, a unit. The, the radio is a unit. The blue in me underside, in the underside is a, um, a unit. Here the climate control, it is a unit. The, the, the cluster is a unit. Okay, if some, uh, any of these uni units fail, uh, if you disconnect it, if they fail internally, whatever, the, me the, the, the way the unit tells the, the, the driver something is not right is flashing the kilometers. How, you, how do you solve it? The best way to do it is to connect your computer, do a diagnosis and do a proxy alignment. Doing the proxy alignment, the system will check all the, 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 the units that should communicate with um, the, the bother computer. And the unit that doesn't communicate is the unit that is affected, that is, that is, uh, uh, can be um, the problem. Okay, uh, then you can force the communication and the communication uh, re resumes again and everything is all right. A few weeks later or, or a few months later, the same problem uh, continues. You do it again, uh, do again a, a diagnosis and if the problem is on the same unit would it be the the window regulators uh, um, commands or the blue and me that is usual the most uh, um, failing pro uh, parts you have to see what the problem is uh, be careful when you have low battery that can happen okay make sure you have a good battery a good strong battery and a good high revving um, mo starter motor, okay?